channel just reached 100,000 subscribers, so I'm mixing up the usual routine here and just going to share a couple cool things about that, which at the same time, also another milestone, our home team game dev dot com group has recently released its hundredth game from the past five years built by members of that mentored practice community that anybody around the world can apply to join and just excited about that also it gave myself a haircut but it seems like not on the same scale of cool news about these milestones now i did want to do something to celebrate this and what i'm doing is that i've now done over 2500 hours of one-on-one -on -one private training with people through questions that they have about the game development they're doing. Typically, beginner, intermediate level, questions that game programmers run into, game designers, game developers, team leads, and so on. And what I'm doing is I'm building an email sequence, a free email course that for every single week, for at least the next year, and we'll see maybe if I'll keep it up going longer, I'm gonna be taking a note that I've identified from people I've worked with. And I've been keeping close logs of every single work call that I do for years. I've been going back through those, organizing information, finding patterns of questions people run into, and I want to share what the issues are people ran into. I want to share what the easy solutions are. Because quite often, even knowing that that's a problem, even realizing there's another way to do it, even having an idea of what terms to look up can make an immediate unblocking difference in giving us hope that there is a path forward and helping us realize that we're not alone and things happening to us. Now, you might also be wondering, okay, well, is this more relevant if I want to make games as a hobby, if I want to make games professionally at a large company, small company, different kind of pathways, freelance, contract, etc. Even that is one of the questions that I typically work very early on with some of the training clients that I meet with about understanding some of the differences in those pathways, the different trade-offs we make are prioritizing different things and how we approach problems. So I'll discuss some of those things in this email path as well. And again, it's literally, it's a free email sequence. You can actually find out about this at gamedevtraining.com. That's G-A-M-E-D-E-V, short for game developer training, gamedevtraining.com. Join the list there. If you don't see the confirmation email, I'm a big fan of double opt-in. If you don't see that confirmation email, check your spam or promotions tab. It's a new list, so maybe it'll go there first. But once you're on that list, again, you should be seeing a message every single week. I'll be working together. And obviously, I'm not identifying the private clients I've worked with, which home team members these meetings were, et cetera. It's got to be anonymized appropriately, uh, but mostly working from patterns of, like I say, questions we were into about small team project management, their first projects, their first programming language selections, their first using engines, not using engines, uh, all of these kind of common questions that come up. I'll be giving you the answers that we found have worked for not just the hundreds of people through home team, but really are patterns that came from before that with VG Dev at Georgia Tech, with Game Creation Society at Carnegie Mellon, with the now hundreds of thousands of people who've gone through my free course at CodeYourFirstGame.com. And in that Q&A, even, even through that, or in my Q&A sometimes in these YouTube videos, you run into other questions. I want to also emphasize that this is not a solely technical list. This is not about where to put your semicolons. This is not about when to use an if versus a for loop, although there's a pretty important note about that. I might slip in there somewhere. These are going to be problems at a level of abstraction that keeps the emails short, keeps them to the point, which you know is going to be a challenge for me. I can tend to be pretty verbose. That's why I have now nearly 900 videos on this channel. But it's going to include even some things like, so obviously I've got my audiobook Self-Command, which is about productivity, about how we can kind of keep ourselves on a single task to see it through and how we kind of come to that agreement with ourselves and build that habit. Because one of the challenges we have when we're trying to learn game development is I can't get myself to do the thing that I know is the right next step for me to do. And so I've got material around that too. And speaking of material, even though the main list is going to be at gamedevtraining.com, I will also, throughout that sequence, mention a few other materials I've built for people over the years, as well as explaining why or how or if this might be a fit for the situation you're in, for the problems that you're attacking. And some of those I will be giving away for free just by virtue of you being on this list. I'll give you a link there, so no cost to you, 100% off, stuff that normally is paid materials that people have paid for, bought, and used, and found value, and given good testimonials of. Some of that's going to be free throughout the next year of weekly emails when you join gamedevtraining.com, which is going to celebrate here. 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, been on YouTube since 2009. Much of the time I wasn't making regular videos yet. Some of the time I did daily videos. All that's kind of part of the story of using something like this platform. And then outside of there again, Home Team Game Dev, 100th game released. We're pretty stoked about that as well. If you want to join us in there, you can go straight to hometeamgamedev.com. But if you're just curious about different things we've learned over the years from working one-on-one -on -one with people learning game development, the questions they run into, the challenges they have, the solutions that we come up with, it can be something that if not, will not only help to you, can help hopefully become some ways you can help your friends who run into the same kind of questions and things you learn from this list. Go to gamedevtraining.com and I look forward to catching up with you now every single week with a tip there.